Good morning, my beautiful lovelies. How is everybody this morning? So we're back doing daily devotional again. I hope that I can be more consistent and I apologize that I haven't been. Um, today is Thursday, August, September 24th. Wow, I'm a whole month out. <laughs> September 24th and we're just past the fall equinox, Mabon. And um, I've been doing a lot of self-work. It's not been me not doing anything at all, but I have been doing a lot of self-work. And um, I woke up this morning and I was like, yes, I'm ready to do a daily devotional. So that's what I'm here doing with you today. Today's theme, we crave that deep place within us that cannot be touched by the ups and downs of life but rather just is connected and whole. I think that pretty much sums up what it is that I wanted to, to say something about um, because I know that that's what I've been working on, that deep place within that can't be touched by the ups and downs, the, the rhythms of the external wor world, those influences that come in and slam into your life and cause chaos and, and make it hard for you to create structure and create um, a place of peace that is consistent. Because nothing in this physical realm is consistent. Nothing is the same all of the time. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be chaotic and catalyzing for change to help you grow as a human being living, well, as a spiritual being living in a human existence is what I should say. Um, and it's hard. It's hard to create consistency. It's hard to create normalcy for lack of a better term because of all of the external influences. I mean, we live in a world where COVID is a thing. If you go anywhere, you have to wear a mask. You have to wash your hands and use hand sanitizer. I carry a hand washing station in the back of my car because that's the new normal and it's been coming. It's been coming for a while and there's more changes coming ahead. Don't ask me what the specifics are. I don't know. I just know that there are many changes coming that we can't go back to the way it was before. And that's okay. It's not a bad thing. There are bad things that happen. But we as human beings are here to support and love one another and lift each other up. That's our job. As brothers and sisters living in this plane of existence, we're here to lift each other up and help each other grow and prop each other up and be supportive. And I understand that not everybody can do that, but if I can do that, then that's what I wanna do. We crave that deep place within that cannot be touched by the ups and downs of life, but rather just connect and hold that place of peace. I talk about it all of the time. Finding that place of peace within that helps you connect with your higher self, connect with who you are, who all of who you are, all of what you have access to in this life. We all have a blueprint. We all have the ability to tap into that resource, that vibrational frequency we've to we have chosen to have access to. And it takes a little bit of trust, self-trust. It takes a little bit of faith. It takes a little bit of trusting the knowingness within because it's there and you have access to it. Um, and part of daily devotions for me is to get me back on track. Um, I need to be able to get back on track. I need to be doing daily devotions every day. I've been writing. Um, I've been creating, I've been doing all kinds of things. So 
I need to find for myself that place of peace in that rhythm so that I can do all of the things I want to do in a day <laughs> and still be in that place of peace, in that place of grace within myself. And there are some days I do really well and there are other days that I don't do so well. Yesterday was really hard for me. And yet today I'm doing pretty good. So I'm not exempt from the influences from the outside that cause me to get off of my rhythm, that cause me to um, struggle with finding that place of peace. I am not exempt from it and nobody is. And we all need to have grace and acceptance and love for yourself when you get off of that rhythm. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. Greeting to the autumn equinox. Hail, journeyer of heavens, queen of brightness, king of beauty. Gifts of gladness richly bringing autumn sheaves and red leaves full. Generous be the hearts within us, open be our hands to all. Justice to be in equal measure, harvest thankfulness our call. Okay, so today is Thursday. Wow, this week has flown. Thursday morning. Compassionate mystery, awakener of revelation, as you have prophesied, so I do arise from your concealment. I brighten my soul with the colors of autumn, the hue of light, hue of life, hue of love. Color my mind, my body, my heart. May my soul be preserved from chill of dawn till call of dark. Mysterious beauty, words cannot describe my gratitude for the coming of light. Only the silent truth of my heart speaks and listens for your light. May your presence be my beacon this day. Keeper of my soul's progress, you have encouraged my passage through life, yet still it does not run as steady as the sun's turning. Reveal to me the track of this day's question. So that's today's daily devotional. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I endeavor to be here with you tomorrow morning. Let's see if I can make that happen. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be.